Good morning, I'm Cody Henriksen. We're continuing on with working with the idea of class design, specifically on how we can work with constructors. And so as you can see right here, I'm inside my debug duck.java file, and you can see that I have some data members that go along with the debug duck that describe what the duck is and what it does. And as you can see by looking at the names themselves, the names of the duck variables, or the data members, excuse me, directly link to what they actually store. So the question count, oh, how many questions I've answered. So it immediately looks at the idea of an int value. The string color describes color, and then we have to type in a string, because that's, that's what we're working with when we're talking about just the basics of Java itself. Same thing with name, obviously it's gonna be a string right there, and then percent correct, that's a double, because percentages imply a decimal value. We have our default constructor with a debug duck. The default value of all ducks is a yellow duck, and its name is duck. I, I know, it's boring, but that's okay. We then have a couple examples of overloaded duck variable. <clears throat> we then have a couple of examples of overloaded duck constructors. Again, remember the overloading is when I have the same name but different parameters. And so you can see right here I have a collapsed version of a constructor of a debug duck that takes a string at name as its only parameter. And then we have an expanded version of an overloaded constructor. So you can have more than one overloaded constructor of a debug duck constructor that takes a string name, a string color, and a double percent. And then I'm using the SAM approach that I work with on all of my projects where I say that this dot name equals name, this dot color equals color, and this dot percent correct is percent correct. And the way we're doing this is you can see as you can see right here, I have the name right here on the right hand side. It's green, it matches right here on the same of my color because I'm using color coordination inside my uh, color settings on Eclipse so I can see that that happens. And the this dot keyword says explicitly that I'm talking about the one that belongs to this object right now. So the instance I'm talking with right now, so this automatically says I'm talking about the class variable, the data member, the field, the instance variable, whatever you want to call it, it's the same thing we're looking for on that, versus my parameter name, in this case name, color, and percent correct, they're there in green, and they're on the right hand side of the equal sign, they get shoved into the left hand side, because again, we go from the right and into the left when we're talking about how we can use that. And so again, that's how we can have a constructor itself, we use the same name as the parameter in my class, that's the way I have it organized, you can use any name of your parameter as you wish. I just like using the same name on that so I can keep track of what we're going with this. We can have that basically structured and go from there. We can make this even one step better. We'll see this in the next video. But let's go ahead and see how we can actually use these constructors over here in our controller we're working with that. As you can see, I have inside my constructor demo right here, my, my method, I have a debug duck demo, which is a new debug duck. And then again, just like I did in the other video, I have a debug duck sample. This one's a new debug duck sage, which makes it so it's gonna be a green duck because sage is a, a green duck right there and sage is a green color, it makes it make perfect sense. And I can have another debug duck using the other constructor. So I go right here and debug duck other sample equals new. And then it's a debug duck, of course helps if I spell right. And we're going to pass it a name, Cody, a color, magenta. And finally, this new debug duck, questions answered. What's my new parameter? Percent correct. And we'll do 0 0.99. And so in my other sample duck, I'm going to have it so it's going to take a debug duck. It's going to have the same name, the same structure. I have a name. The second parameter is the color. And then I have my percent that I'm sending into it. So I go right here. I go to the name. I assign name into the name of the debug duck. I assign the color into the color of this debug duck. And I assign the percent correct into the percent correct of this debug duck. And so I'm saying them right 99% of the time. I know it's a bit of an over-exaggeration, but that's okay. We're having fun and we can do some cool stuff. So again, this is how we can actually write the code that calls the overloaded constructors. You can see right here that I'm using all three different constructors of my debug.class. We have a, a default constructor with no parens. Excuse me. We have, a deb, um, we have the debug duck default constructor with no parameters, just open and close parens. We have the debug duck sample, which uses simply the name supplied, in this case, sage. And then we have the debug duck other sample, which is a new debug duck, and it has three parameters. It has the name, the color, and the percent correct of the answer so far. So we can see how we can use that and use different versions of that and have some really cool, more customized objects, and we can do more cool stuff with that. Thanks again. We'll do some more stuff with this and have some more fun. Have a good day. Cheers.